primary races in West Virginia and Nebraska. In West Virginia, Alex Mooney is now the Republican nominee for one of the state's two seats in the U.S. House. Mooney, who is endorsed by the former president, beat a fellow Republican. But in Nebraska, the gubernatorial candidate Trump campaigned heavily for lost. Jim Pillen won the state's primary race for governor there. Charles Herbster, backed by Trump, defeated by fewer than 10,000 votes. Marky Martin is in Lincoln, Nebraska this morning with the results and what it means for the 2022 primaries. Marky, good morning. Hey, Ruta Bay, good morning. Yeah, another set of primaries in the books, both for Nebraska and West Virginia. Here in Nebraska, that hotly contested gubernatorial race surprisingly called in just two hours. And across the country, top of mind for a lot of people, how strong is an endorsement from former President Donald Trump? Well, here in the Cornhusker state, it wasn't enough to seal the deal. Overnight, a strong showing in West Virginia for former President Donald Trump's endorsements. But they had a tougher go of it in Nebraska. The crowded Republican gubernatorial primary getting the most attention. Jim Pillen winning the nomination late Monday night, taking home more than 33,000 votes. Pillen, a University of Nebraska board member and pork farmer, beating Republican challenger Charles Herbster, who former President Donald Trump had backed. For a guy that's never had a dream to be a politician, no aspiration, uh, I love public service. Uh, I love making a difference. Uh, you know, I'm guilty. I love Nebraska. <laughs> Sexual assault allegations have towered over Nebraska's gubernatorial race in recent weeks. At least eight women, including a Republican state senator, say Herbster groped them, claims he denies. This is probably one of the nastiest governor campaigns in the state of Nebraska. On the Democratic side of the ticket, Carol Blood easily winning the Democratic nomination for Nebraska governor with more than 90 percent of the vote. In West Virginia, Congressman Alex Mooney, backed by President Trump, beat fellow incumbent and Republican David McKinley in a high-stakes primary. Redistricting forcing the two into a runoff after a state congressional district was lost. McKinley had the support of West Virginia Governor Jim Justice and Democratic Senator Joe Manchin. The former president using that to his advantage, criticizing McKinley for his centrist approach, like supporting last year's bipartisan infrastructure bill and the decision to create a January 6th commission. You know, this, the votes of my opponent were not with the state. And any liberal Republican, like I said, or a Democrat, thinks they can vote that way and the voters are going to be okay with it. They're sadly mistaken. Now, Tuesday's primary is one of several across the country that people are watching very closely. And, you know, insiders really honing in on them to see what kind of influence uh, former President Donald Trump still has on his party, has on voters. While Mooney's win was just that for the GOP, Ruta Bay, there are a lot of tougher contests ahead. Let's look forward to next week on Tuesday primaries. You've got them in North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Idaho. Next month, it's Georgia. And then in Pennsylvania's GOP, Senate race, you have Trump backed Dr. Oz, who is slightly ahead in a race that's getting tighter. Ruta Bay. All right, Marky, thank you. On Capitol Hill today, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.